A MAN ACCUSED OF KILLING A SIX-YEAR-OLD RETURNED TO COURT THIS MORNING. THE HEARING COMES JUST TWO DAYS AFTER RONALD EXANTIS WAS BROUGHT BACK TO THE WOODFORD COUNTY JAIL FOLLOWING PSYCHIATRIC TREATMENT. WKYT'S MARK BARBER SHOWS US THE ROLE EXANTIS' MENTAL STATE IS PLAYING IN THE CASE. RONALD EXANTIS' ATTORNEY SAYS SHE HAS BEEN WORKING FOR 30 YEARS AND SHE HAS NEVER SEEN A CASE LIKE THIS WHERE THERE'S JUST NO EXPLANATION FOR WHAT HAPPENED. SHE TELLS ME THAT HE HAD A PSYCHOTIC BREAK AND DOES NOT REMEMBER ANYTHING. The 32-year-old was booked back into the Woodford County Detention Center two days ago after spending the past few months in a state psychiatric hospital. Exantis' attorney says doctors kept him there much longer than they normally keep patients because it took them weeks to snap him out of psychosis. According to his attorney, Exantis is now heavily medicated and mentally stable. The Indiana man was arrested five months ago after police say he broke into a home in Versailles and stabbed a sleeping six year old boy to death. Logan Tipton's family filled two rows in the courtroom this morning, wearing the young football player's jersey number. The judge pushed attorneys to set another date in the case next month, saying he does not want the high profile case to last any longer than necessary. The state's psychiatric evaluation of Exantis is due on June 1st, which is when the 32 year old will be back in court. The evaluation will be used to determine if he is competent to stand trial. In Woodford County, Mark Barber, WKYT. Exantis could face the death penalty if he is found guilty of murder. His attorney thinks it will be at least another year before the case could go to trial.